The movie opens with a scene where Bruce Wayne describes his dream as a young boy attending his parents' funeral. Flashbacks show a young Bruce leaving the theater with his parents Thomas and Martha when a gunman approaches them. Thomas tries to protect Bruce but is shot and Martha is also killed while trying to take the gun. In Bruce's dream, he falls down a hole surrounded by bats that guide him back up to the surface. In Metropolis, we see Superman battling Zod while the World Engine causes destruction to the city. Bruce appears on the scene and contacts an employee at his building who is witnessing the battle. He rushes to the building, where Zod's heat vision causes half of it to crumble. Bruce saves a man and a little girl before finding out that her mother is still trapped in the destroyed part of the building. Jumping to 18 months later, two boys find a large rock containing kryptonite while swimming in the Indian Ocean and bring it back to an island. Lois Lane is conducting an interview with a warlord in Africa when his gunmen destroy Jimmy Olsen's camera and discover a tracking device. Jimmy is killed while trying to protect Lois. The warlord takes Lois hostage, but Superman saves her by crashing through the warlord's home and stopping him from hurting her. Later, a press conference is held to address the events in Africa. A woman testifies that Superman is responsible for the death of the people in her village, including her parents. Senator Finch agrees that Superman needs to be held accountable for the destruction he has caused. The police discover a building in Gotham City where a group of women are being held captive in a cage. One of the women credits a savior with horns for their release. The police then hear a noise coming from upstairs, where they find a man tied to a wall with a bat symbol burned onto his chest. While investigating, they come across Batman, but he manages to escape after the police shoot at him. Bruce heads back to the Batcave and talks to Alfred, who is working on a voice modulator for his suit. They discuss the ongoing debate about Superman's actions and their implications. Senator Finch meets with Lex Luthor to discuss his recovery of kryptonite, which he plans to weaponize as a defense against potential attacks by other Kryptonians. Lex also has access to Zod's body, which he keeps stored away. However, Finch tries to prevent Lex from continuing his experiments. Meanwhile, Lois finds a rare bullet in her notebook from the Africa shootout, but doesn't reveal it to Clark, who is aware of the negative opinions about Superman, but tries to ignore them. Wallace, who has lost his lower legs and is now confined to a wheelchair, visits the Superman monument in Metropolis. He climbs up the statue and writes false god on Superman's chest with spray paint. Bruce suspects LexCorp of having connections with a criminal named Anatoly Kinyazev. As he gets closer to tracking down Kinyazev, Alfred informs Bruce that he has been invited to a fundraiser hosted by Lex. Bruce attends the event as Batman and finds a suit that belonged to Robin. The suit has ha 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 the jokes on you Batman spray painted on it, hinting at the involvement of the Joker. At a fundraiser, Bruce leaves a tool to open a safe in Lex's house, hoping to get his hands on a valuable hard drive. However, when he returns to the safe, he discovers that the hard drive has already been taken by a mysterious woman named Diana Prince. Later, Bruce and Clark meet and argue about each other's alter egos. Clark believes that Batman is causing chaos in Gotham, while Bruce believes that Superman is doing more harm than good and is overrated for his actions. They part ways, and Clark goes to Juarez, Mexico, after seeing a news report about a fire. As Superman, he rescues a young girl from the burning building and is welcomed by the grateful people of Juarez. Superman is still being praised as a savior by some, while others consider him a danger. Meanwhile, Bruce meets Diana once more and confronts her about taking something from him. She reveals that the item he's searching for is actually in the glove compartment of his car. Lois is trying to find out where the bullet she found came from and meets with General Swanwick, where she discovers that the U.S. military may have some shady connections with someone like Kinyazev. Superman is worried about how the public perceives him and visits his adoptive mother, Martha Kentucky. She reassures him that he doesn't owe the world anything and encourages him to continue doing what he thinks is right. 
Bruce has another nightmare where he sees a bleak future that is a result of Superman's presumed attack. Batman encounters some mercenaries who are believed to work for Superman, and he uses a gun to kill them. Then, a swarm of insect-like creatures starts attacking, and Batman is taken captive. He wakes up in a dark room where Superman arrives and uses his heat vision to kill two men next to Batman. Superman then removes Batman's cowl and seems to blame him for what happened to Lois. Superman crushes Batman's chest, and Bruce wakes up with a surge of electricity. The Flash appears, warning Bruce about a threat and urging him to seek help from their group. Batman sets out to track down Kenyaziv and his men at the docks, hoping to find the kryptonite. However, Superman intercepts him and uses his strength to force the Batmobile to crash. Superman tells Batman to stop his search for the kryptonite, but before he flies away, Batman asks him if he bleeds and threatens to make it happen. At a hearing in the Capitol building in Metropolis, Senator Finch is giving a speech in front of a crowd waiting to see if Superman will make an appearance. Wallace, who is in a special wheelchair given to him by Lex, arrives to testify against Superman. As Superman arrives, the crowd is split between those who support him and those who oppose him. Meanwhile, Bruce is in his office receiving checks and photos with derogatory comments against him. During Finch's speech, she notices a jar labeled Granny's Peach Tea, which reminds her of a previous conversation with Lex. Suddenly, a bomb hidden in Wallace's wheelchair goes off, destroying the building and killing everyone inside who doesn't have superpowers. This incident causes even more people to blame Superman for the destruction and deaths. Bruce obtains files from LexCorp's hard drive, which contain information about the metahuman thesis. He watches videos of four individuals, including Barry Allen who stops a robbery using super speed, Aquaman who disappears into the water with his trident, Victor Stone who is turned into cyborg by a scientist using a special box, and Diana wearing a unique armor in a picture from 1918. Bruce sends an email to Diana to question her identity. Lex visits the Kryptonian ship with Zod's corpse and gains knowledge from its database. He drops Zod's body into the water of the Genesis Chamber and pours some of his blood onto him, preparing to create something terrifying. Clark has a dream where he sees his adoptive father, Jonathan, who gives him advice. Martha is leaving her job when a van pulls up next to her. She is followed by the van before being grabbed by a group of men and taken away. Batman acquires the kryptonite and creates a spear using it. He then turns on the bat signal and shines it in the sky. Meanwhile, in Metropolis, Lex meets with Lois on top of his building and pushes her off the edge. Superman arrives in time to save her and confronts Lex, who wants to provoke a fight between Superman and Batman. Lex has Martha hostage and gives Superman one hour to fight Batman before she dies. Despite being reluctant, Superman flies to Gotham to locate Batman. Superman comes to Batman for help, but Batman has his own agenda. They engage in a fierce battle, with Batman's armored suit giving him an advantage. Although Superman is thrown around, he fights back and manages to land some hits on Batman. Batman tries to impale Superman with the kryptonite spear, but when Superman mentions Martha, Batman realizes that he is trying to save his own mother, not hurt anyone. Lois tells Batman that Superman needs his help to save Martha, and Batman agrees to go with Alfred to rescue her. Using his gadgets, Batman fights his way through the henchmen at the warehouse where Martha is being held. He reaches the top floor to find King Azev with a flamethrower aimed at Martha. Batman gets a goon to shoot at the tank on King Azev's back, causing it to explode and saving Martha. The cape. Superman confronts Lex and learns that his plan failed. 
However, Lex's backup plan has come to fruition. Zod has now transformed into a monstrous creature named Doomsday, which feeds on energy. Superman battles Doomsday throughout the city, with the military launching an attack against the creature. During the fight, a missile hits Doomsday and he falls back to Earth with even more power. Batman joins the fight and is almost hit by a blast from Doomsday, but Wonder Woman arrives and deflects the blast with her gauntlets. She then joins the battle with her sword and shield. Meanwhile, Lois tries to retrieve the kryptonite spear she threw into the water, but nearly drowns until Superman saves her. Superman tells Lois he loves her and takes the spear to fight Doomsday. Wonder Woman uses her lasso to hold Doomsday down, while Batman hits him with his nerve gas. Superman pierces Doomsday's body with the spear, but Doomsday impales Superman in the chest with one of his spikes. Superman uses the last of his strength to push the spear through Doomsday's body, killing him. Lois rushes to Superman's body, but he has already passed away. Lex is taken into custody and brought to prison where his head is shaved. Batman visits him and threatens to make him pay for his actions, holding a hot brand to his face. However, instead of branding him, Batman punches the wall leaving a bat-shaped hole. The death of Superman brings everyone together to mourn. Martha gives Lois an envelope containing an engagement ring that Clark had planned to give her. A funeral is held in honor of Superman, and people all over Metropolis hold a vigil. Bruce talks with Diana about gathering people like her, but she doubts they will want to be found. Bruce believes they will need to come together to fight. After Lois drops dirt into Superman's grave and leaves, a faint heartbeat is heard coming from the grave, and some of the dirt begins to rise into the air. Thank you for watching this movie recap. I hope you enjoyed it and gained a better understanding of the plot. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more movie recaps and other content. Your support helps us continue to create great videos like this one. Thank you again, and we'll see you at the next one.